How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to install some cam locks to your soft wash system. So decided to change out a five and a half gallon per minute pump and we're going to try a seven so I thought this would be a good time to install some cam locks. So if I want to change from a 5.5 to a seven or a seven to a 5.5 quick easy change. So I'm going to show you how to install these. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is try to get all the water chemicals out of your line so you want to flush it out as much as you can so once you cut those lines you're not going to have any leakage all over your trailer so let's do that real quick so got the proportioner everything shut off you hear it going not going to pull nothing so we're going to release we're going to release this as much water we can out again this is a 200 foot hose so it's going to take it a minute but looks like we're getting down to the final droppage so I'm gonna call that good enough and I'm gonna shut the pump off okay so now we got all that shut off and there's the 5.5 so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna cut it about right there so let's get the pipe cutters Okay, got the pipe cutters. Might be overkill, but gotta get the job done. And I do want to measure how much pipe I have on each side of that pump. So when I hook up the seven gallon, everything is the exact same measurement. So let me get my tape measure. Alright. So we're going to do it about a foot. A little bit of water. Never hurt nobody. All right. So. Go ahead and cut the other one. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed and trying to hold the phone because I think my tripod's. Isaac's truck. All right. Got those done. Water splashing everywhere. But... get the cam locks okay so I'm gonna be installing two one for each side so we'll be technically installing four of those so we need eight clamps at least that's the way I'm gonna use it so we'll start 
start with the in hose first and I think I want it to be clamp again bear with me one handed yeah, I think I want this to be clamp yeah so that way the pumps have the male now lines in and line out has the female <clears throat> okay so to make this a little bit easier on me i'll use a heat gun to heat up the hose so it can slide in there easier but i'm gonna put these clamps on two of them first this up just a little bit it's hot hot it's hot <clears throat> and hopefully you can see this but it's just uh, maybe in there Just like so. And then I'll put a clamp right there. <clears throat> Get that nice and snug. And then I'm going to do another one right here towards where I missed it. I don't know if you can see it, but these uh, things have a groove there and a groove there. So that's kind of what I'm going off of. All right, so we got that one in there. Set that to the side. All right, so now we're going to use the male into that one. So get our clamps, shove them in first, or on, I guess I should say. And heat it up. Shouldn't need very long to heat it up. And then just <clears throat> I didn't heat it quite long enough, but it worked. Got that on there. And we'll put our clamps on. See, that's all nice and tight. Look how easy this is. Just push it. Lock it. Lock it. 
and boom. We're in business. And it also has these pins that you can put right there to keep it from coming up. So I will do that here in a minute, but I want to go ahead and get the other one hooked up first. All right, here's the other one. I went ahead and put the clamps on and heat it up. I'll take the female. That one's complete. All right, I went ahead and got that one hooked up. So now, Now we're going to put it to work and see if it works. Looks like we're good there. Then we got one drip right there that we got to fix. But other than that, everything looks to be doing good. Unless that was, we'll see if that's dripping or if that was just from where I cut it. Well, it looks like everything's working good, other than the one drink drip that we got over here on the other piece. But other than that, looks good. Your Hope you enjoy. Skills are bad. Absolutely. If you got a leak. They're bad. I didn't touch it. <laughs> it ain't me. It wasn't my fault. That's how it is. Always. Always something, something different. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Got any questions? Leave them in a the comment. Hopefully, you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And then we will be posting a video showing the difference in the 5.5 gallon per minute versus the 7 point or 7.0 gallons per minute. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time. Later, everyone.